Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Mr. Zaman and today I'll talk about Common breast cancer drug Alpilisib may have an alarming side effect, finds a study. A recent retrospective study conducted at the Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center has uncovered concerning rates of hyperglycemia among metastatic breast cancer patients treated with Alpilisib, a promising PI3K inhibitor. The study, spanning from 2013 to 2021, aimed to shed light on the incidence, risk factors and treatment options for this condition. Metastatic breast cancer remains a significant health concern, especially for those with hormone receptor positive PIK3CA mutant breast cancer. The comprehensive study, including data from 247 patients, has yielded crucial highlights. A staggering 61.5% of patients developed hyperglycemia of any grade, with 29.2% experiencing severe grade 3 or 4 hyperglycemia. Aspiring to excel in medical journalism and delve into the intricacies of health and medical reporting? Explore our comprehensive course on medical and health journalism available at the Medical Dialogues Academy. Learn from industry experts who possess in-depth knowledge and experience in this field. For further details, scan the QR code or access the link in the description box below. Patients enrolled in clinical trials experienced significantly lower rates of hyperglycemia compared to those receiving Alpilisib as standard care. Any grade hyperglycemia affected 80.3% of standard care patients, while only 34% of clinical trial participants were affected. Similarly, severe grade 3 or 4 hyperglycemia was reported in 40.2% of standard care patients and in only 13% of those in clinical trials. The study also highlights the importance of assessing baseline hemoglobin A1c levels. Elevated baseline HbA1c was significantly associated with the development of hyperglycemia and the need for alpilisib dose reduction or discontinuation. Among patients who develop hyperglycemia, 40.9% received treatment with metformin being the most commonly prescribed medication. Additionally, 19.8% of patients were referred to endocrinologists and this was found to be associated with SGLT2 inhibitor prescriptions. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.